This poem is an apology that is dedicated to the brothers. I apologize, don't take this lightly. To all the brothers everywhere, listen up and lend an ear. I render this message to all that will hear. Please be attentive while I share and don't take this lightly. To all the brothers who suffer stretch, rejection and pain, when the love you give to sisters seems to be in vain. To all the brothers being arrested due to vindictive games, I apologize. To all the fathers whose children are used as pawns to set you up by being born or withheld from you when their mothers feel scorned, I apologize. To all the sons beat down from verbal abuse by misplaced anger for fathers you didn't choose, for all the people who think you have no good use, I apologize. Don't take this lightly. To our sons coming up, you are our future and hope. Stop trying to be down, resist gang banging and flee from dope. Discover who you are and find constructive ways to cope. Don't take this lightly. Sons, you have opportunities to reach the highest heights. Fathers, you can make amends for being out of sight. Brothers, who have made mistakes, it's not too late to live life right. Don't take this lightly. I thank you for your presence, it is regal and strong. You are a covering for us sisters, by our side you belong. Our destiny, slavery tried to destroy, but only served to prolong. Don't take this lightly. Stay around, stand your ground, you will abound. Victory, don't take this lightly. This is a prayer for my people entitled Prayer of Unity. Hear, O Lord, this prayer I offer in this consecrated place. May you impart a spirit of unity to inhabit the people of our black race. May you allow us to experience how wonderful and pleasant it can be for black people to live together in blessed harmony. Clothe us in unconditional love, which bonds all things perfectly. Open our ears that we may hear and our eyes that we may see. Help us to better understand ourselves and the part that we each should play so that we not only hear your word, but be doers of what you say. It is written that what we bind and loose on earth will be bound and loosed in heaven. We loose the spirit of unity and bind internalized oppression. We bind the spirit of division, low self-esteem, racism, and fear. We lose race, pride, confidence, self-love, and a communal spirit of care. Teach us to reclaim what was stolen during the ma'afa and slavery. Heal us from the post-trauma that we may persevere to victory. Break the perpetual cycle of curses which permeates each generation. Bridge the relational gaps among our people in every type of situation. Show us what we each should do and how to use what we have where we are. Let us not become weary and give up, for in due season we will reap a reward. Guide us through our strength in Christ to do the all that we can. Convict us to obey your word for forgiveness and a healed land. Plant your love in the soil of our hearts and tenderize us to be good ground. Let it take root and transform us to make a difference where any need is found. Now, Father, it is also written that if two of us agree about anything that we ask for, it will be done in heaven by thee. So we come to you with confidence in accordance to your will, knowing that you hear us, Lord, and our petitions you will fulfill. We thank you now for positive change and the authority to rebuke all strife by faith we believe you for black unity in the name of our great high priest, Jesus Christ. Amen.